Hi there everybody. My name is Grant and I live in a city called Saskatoon in Canada and I love bike riding and I've got a fat bike this year and one of the things I really like to take care of is is uh, spray and slop that comes off the bikes you know when you're riding and we tend to get that all year round here no matter how cold it is uh, just because they you know they ice the road not ice the roads they put uh, salt on the roads and that sort of thing and it's really hard to keep clean um, and I'm not into cleaning my bike all the time so what I'm making this video about is that I made my own fat bike fenders and it took a fair amount of work um, they work great they keep me clean and um, it's all based on my experience commuting on a 29er in the city uh, we got a ton of ice here and slush and things like that and uh, it took me a lot of years to figure out what worked and didn't work what didn't work and uh, I also found that uh, there wasn't really any good fenders you could buy that actually wouldn't end up getting wrecked so some of my early experiences were that uh, you know I'd buy fenders and because it gets so cold here the initial ones I bought they would jiggle around and they would snap and crack and that's no good um, and then the other times I would simply, you know, people tell you just get a front one and so yeah, I'd put one on the front and then guess what, it'd spray everywhere up your back and everything like that. So I ended up making my own. The reason I'm posting this video is um, I want to see if there's anybody out there that's actually interested in uh, having fenders that look similar um, because I can tell you how I did it. And I used, I mean basically I used cardboard templates and then used um, plastic sheets to, to mold them to the right place. The only piece I had to kind of buy was this metal strut which I got from a bike store. So if you're interested just let me know and I can send you more details. So basically it's plastic and it's zip tied. I don't know if you can see the zip tie right there on and uh, the shapes are all very specific. I'm going to point out a few things here before I wrap this up. So basically the, the front guard is the same as you know I have on my cross country summer bike it's nothing innovative about the design there but uh, what I would like to point out if you're making your own is if, if you draw a straight line from the from the edge of the tire up um, that's where the spray is gonna go so if you have a short fender it's gonna spray forward and I actually had to make this one longer on the back because too much spray was coming forward up over the crown of my forks and everything the other piece that's really important is this down piece um, you can see how it's attached there and what I'd encourage you to do is to make sure it goes lower than your bottom bracket if you leave it up high you can get a lot of spray into your bottom bracket and your axle and everything like that the back piece here well this one was a lot of work to make because I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's not a straight sided piece and that's because it was catching on my feet so I've had to um, curve it a lot and then this top piece is actually pretty easy it's a heavier gauge plastic and I just had to kind of gather it in, in the uh, end and uh, put a little a rivet in there and this piece here you can see it's just loose but it works it works really well actually and the same thing on the back if you look at the back if you drew a line from the back of the tire if you have a short fender the spray is going to come off on, you know, like a tangent. It's going to spray up on you. So it's actually really important to make the fender long. Anyway, that's my bike. Um, those are my fenders. If you're inter interested in uh, making your own set of fenders that works really well, um, just let me know. And, uh, you know, I might post a bit more on how I actually did it. And I'll give you a picture here at the end of the video of my old commuter bike, which is kind of how I learned um, how fenders work. And I'll also post in the, uh, in the comments section below a couple of links to some videos that other people made. I, I don't know who they are, but they're really good. They basically showed that, you know, the store-bought fenders don't work very well if you want to keep clean. Uh, and these ones here, they just happen to be in white plastic because as you can see, it's snowing here <laughs> and uh, white tends to be a little bit less visible than the black and you can make them out of whatever color you want. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you again. Bye.